Well, hello YouTube, here we have another bicycle. This is a specialised Rockhopper Elite. So, I haven't had anything this good in a little while. Well, there was, there's a Canada, but it was retro, so it doesn't really count. So, we have uh, RockShock Judies. These are weird OEM versions with a quick release skewer on the front, so, this is a quick release version of this RockShock Judy fork. It's not a bad fork at all, this bike is absolutely fantastic um, to ride. It just basically floats along. Um, not really a big specialised fanboy, but um, you know there are certain things I don't like. Doesn't have a tapered head tube for a start. Quick release everything. Has the um, this is a rebranded SRAM SX crank. So I'm pretty sure of it. Don't might not be. It might be a bit of a custom job, but there's um, it's a square taper jobby, um, and this chainring is not replaceable. So once the chainring's worn out, you throw the whole thing away. Um, so yeah, square taper, not the best. We have um, of course not SRAM SX. It's the Boardman that has that. Um, Jaw 11 speed this on here. Obviously, the guy didn't really know what chain lube was, so she's a little bit dry, but I have put chain lube on it since, it's not too bad. The cassette is in reasonable condition by the looks of it. The higher gears are more worn out than the lower ones, to be expected, because this is such a low ratio. There's a bit of a mark on the seat, but apart from that, stock OEM pedals, and believe it or not, that will not go in any more than that, and it comes out. You know, easily, and there's nothing obvious up with that, really. So, yeah, a bit, bit of a strange one. You yeah, know, overall, good bike. We've got Shimano jaw, um, not Shimano jaw, Shimano brakes, Shimano jaw gears, stout handlebars, stone in house finishing kit, really. Yeah, basically, um, one of my friends lost his dog the other day out at Sparrow's campsite in Halstead and he was a lurcher and he went after a deer um, long story short I ended up looking for him it was pitch black I didn't find him, he did come back on his own but I was going around all these different places around Gosfield off road with no lights just riding basically by feel and this is one little concrete bit that I went off it was about an about um, 8 foot drop or so and I didn't even notice it <laughs> until I went off of it if you know what I mean so I wasn't really prepared for a drop off the bike handled it like nothing, even though it's only a cross-country bike. These RockShox Judy's are really good. The um, small bump compliance is really, really good as well. So you hit small ruts and things, these move, no matter what, they're buttery smooth. I would almost go to say they're smoother than the old school Mazzocchi's. Um, absolutely amazing. Fantastic bit of kit, really is. Even though it's not the most high-end bike I've had on the channel by any means, this is, uh, this is fantastic. I have a Boardman as well that... Um, well, we'll talk about that when it comes to it, <laughs> which is better spec on paper, but, hmm. So yeah, the old Rockshot Judy's, Specialised Rockhopper Elite, absolutely fantastic, 2023 Specialised Rockhopper Elite. I don't think they um, changed it much from like 2021, somewhere around there, so this is the 2023 as far as I'm aware. Has these uh, tyres on it as well, these uh, Specialised Ground Control. Someone's skidded the rear one sadly a little bit but the front one is pretty good so yeah that concludes this video of this um, specialized rock hopper elite thank you for watching